Okay, here we are with game three, Boris versus uh, Doran. This is our opening hand. We've got Step Links, a Ranger of Eos, Goblin Bushwhacker, Path to Exile, a couple of Ghost Quarters and a Plains. We're kind of a little light on red mana, but uh, we maybe fetch that up with the Ghost Quarters. And uh, as soon as I run the play, the uh, hand that starts with the Step Links is pretty nice. So uh, we lead off with the, the Links. Uh, he leads off with Inquisition and stealing our path. Uh, get an arid draw an Ar arid mesa which is nice for us it means we get can get in for four with our links this turn he drops a hierarch put our ghost quarter out attack for two put him down to 12 he makes an elspeth and makes a token and he's gonna have some chumps chump blocks here to play our ranger out, fetching up another step links and a goblin guide, which will set up for a big turn next turn. Makes a token and uh, plays a 5 5 knight. So uh, things aren't looking great for us. His Elspeth's on 6 loyalty, he's got a 5 5 knight of the royal prey. But uh, got a big turn coming up. Play land, play the step links, play the goblin guide. We go to squat over our uh, planes to fetch a, a mountain, which uh, obviously has another makes another landfall trigger. Uh, I think I might have messed up earlier actually by not playing the step links before I played my land, but uh, I'm not sure it, it would have made a ton of difference. So uh, crack our other ghost quarter, and we've got two red, so we can play out our bushwhacker. And we attack in. He reveals a path off the top. I uh, I was, didn't know whether to send to Elspeth or to his face, but I figured our best chance of winning was just to go for the face. Uh, that way we can possibly win if we draw some more burn spells off the top. Um, Elspeth ultimating, ultimating would be pretty bad, but probably not that devastating so uh, I think the biggest thing is that she can make chumps repeatedly so just went for the face got five damage in and killed off a couple of his dudes while uh, losing our ranger this turn he makes a token paths our links Uh, we draw a plate of Geopede. Should we just play out? Haven't really got any good attacks here. Which is, uh, doesn't leave us in a great position. He's only on six, and we have a Lightning Helix, so. Texas for seven. Which, considering he's only got two creatures, is fairly, uh, Aggressive play. Um, we got an Oblivion Ring here, which is nice. Could either get rid of the Elspeth or the Knight, but uh, we're going to attack first just to see what happens. And we're going to direct our attack at him. Should Staring Wildwood off the top from the Goblin Guide. His chumps take two. And uh, kind of worried about getting killed by the Knight. I mean, he could jump it next turn if we don't overring anything, and that would, uh, that's the plus one ability, that would leave us pretty close to dead, so uh, decided to take out the knight with the, with the uh, o-ring. Uh, on his turn he plays a uh, pride mage, which uh, seems pretty awful, seems as though this is the first time he's seen our o-ring, I think. And uh, he manages to get something to uh, deal with it. We attack in. Knowing that he's only on four. If I'm getting down to three, then he's just straight dead. Um, he blocks like this and decides not to uh, kill the quad, um, sack the Pride Mage to get his Knight of the Reliquary back. Not sure if that was the right play or not by him, but. Uh, 
so the one he chose. I think he might, he might have been better off getting the knight, seems as though his Elspeth doesn't look like dying anytime soon, and he might have actually been able to kill us with it. But I'm not sure. So he plays out of Thalia, makes another token. We don't have any good attacks. Oh, actually, yeah, we can still attack here, but he's going to chump again. He continues to make tokens. Elspeth's on ridiculously high loyalty, but uh, he needs a chump. He attacks with Thalia, and we draw the Lightning Helix. Um, at this point, we actually uh, can't just double Helix him here because we have run out of lands in our deck. We, I think we're running three mountains and two planes. Um, so a couple of these... Uh, these fetches actually can't fetch up uh, enough lands to make me be able to double helix. But if we uh, so we're just going to go for it next turn. We fetch here as he chumps to keep our links alive. Makes a soldier and a hierarch and tax us for three. We helix him on the end of our t his turn and uh. We have Arc Trail there as well, which is uh, what we choose to use, two damage to him, one damage to the Thalia, and uh, that wins us through. So uh, yeah, really tight game, uh, really interesting one actually I felt, uh, but we managed to steal through with the uh, burn spells, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, that was that.